I guess in a few minutes. But beyond that, we were talking earlier about how uh, how, how tough, how, how personal, how difficult a lot of these races are. For example, Chief Party back candidate Sharon Angle is running against Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid in Nevada, and she's come under fire for campaign ads that critics are calling racist. Here's one of them. It has to do with illegal immigration. I'm Sharon Angle, and I approve this message. Waves of illegal aliens streaming across our border, joining violent gangs, forcing families to live in fear. And what's Harry Reid doing about it? Voting to give illegal aliens social security benefits, tax breaks, and college tuition. Voting against declaring English our national language twice. And even siding with Obama and the president of Mexico to block Arizona's tough new immigration law. Harry Reid, it's clear whose side he's on, and it's not yours. Yikes, it's like a Hitler Youth commercial. Well, people are saying that it's very racist because there, there are these adorable white children sitting yeah, in class in front of Every immigrant is a looking, it's going to join a gang, it's yeah. going to do you harm. It's you know, you specifically, once you put out a visual bell, it cannot be unrung. You specifically cast it to ignite fear. Now you've made Hispanics, it's like, oh, the white people are going to get get pounced upon by the boogeyman. Because now you've made Hispanics That's what the you're boogeyman. Doing. That's what you're doing. You did that on purpose. And then you get mad when you say, why aren't we coming far in race relations? We're trying to tell people not to judge people based on their skin color. But you specifically put out an ad you know, like this. Let me tell you how stupid she is. 25 of the voters in Nevada are Hispanic. Eighty percent of them are Mexican. This is a moron on top of being evil. I mean, it's not strategically, you're right, not the way to go. in trouble. Harry Reid, on the other hand, is in trouble in Nevada because people are knee-jerk and get the incumbent out. Hallelujah. You're ridiculous. Joy, we're friends, right? There is, this is no knee-jerk reaction. This has been a long 18 months for people who are chronically unemployed at this point and yeah, want but change but to happen. The so so hope and change banners are now being recycled. You want them playing no, on stereo? No, I never, I never them said them that. Them want them them want no, them. I, you, I think that a political be. change is going to happen, and I think that these elections are becoming ugly because a referendum but is going to be... I, I don't think that adds a lot. This election, most elections are local. When you look at almost every election, it's local. This, what you are seeing in Nevada, is not a referendum, not her ads. On Obama, it has to do with the, the immigration law and the fear of illegal immigrants. Everybody keeps saying, can I apologize to you? Because I didn't mean you when I said you. I just meant people. But, um, but and I love you too, Boogie. But uh, what I'm saying is, you know, you, people get, Whoopi would say this all the time. You're talking about brown people. They, they specifically say you're talking about Mexicans. And that's, you know, because well, you don't think she's Absolutely. Right? Yeah. This is what she's doing because you're not showing a bunch of Asian people being scared of, of, of Russians coming over. And you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? To use when the face I'm of the children in an ad, I mean, I think you need to, to claim a certain responsibility, and I don't know what sort of regulation there is. No, I think it's white people. What I'm saying is, I think, that that is that from a Republican perspective here, I think the ad is way more than pushing a limit on what's right. I actually think it's wrong, and I think to use little kids in that ad to create fear is the wrong way to, okay. to make yeah, a change. But I'm saying knee jerk reaction. I'm talking about people who will vote for her based on fear of the incumbent and fear of a knee-jerk means you're not thinking, you're not reading, you're not listening, you're not watching. So you're assuming that the voter doesn't know voting records. Voters need to take responsibility, too, and I think that they will look at voting records. Look at neck and neck at the polls, and you see an ad like this. Look how emotional you are all getting, and voters get emotional as well. Only Whoopi and I. I'd like to see her do this ad in the South Bronx. Come here, bitch. Come to New York and do it. <laughs>